issue of land degradation, it is devastating, it is generation killing, unless otherwise we today act on it, tomorrow will not have a country called Ethiopia. More than three-fourths of Ethiopia's population of 90 million depends on agriculture for survival. But farming is a struggle here. 80% of the land is threatened by water scarcity and soil erosion. Tigray was one of uh, the degraded sites in, the, in northern Ethiopia. Uh, agriculture has been in this part of uh, the country for more than 3,000 years. People were uh, uh, farming. Uh, for long years, and the increase in farmland is at the expense of uh, this forest. To renew the earth, Ethiopia is using Forest Landscape Restoration, FLR. Definition of FLR, an ongoing process of regaining ecological functionality and enhancing human well-being across deforested or degraded areas. Abba's village has been revived using FLR practices. I didn't imagine this would be possible. It was very dry and degraded. I feel proud. Now that I'm successful in this village, I want to replicate these practices across the country. Innovative methods include stone buns to slow the flow of water down hills. Areas are also fenced off from livestock and human encroachment to promote natural regeneration. These areas are called exclosures. The community is protecting this site more than me. They don't want to destroy it. Because of the new vegetation, the soil retains more moisture and prevents drought. Today, more than one million hectares are exclosed in the country. During the climate summit in New York in 2014, the country committed itself to managing 15 million hectares of degraded land to be rehabilitated by 2025. To achieve this target, Ethiopia is drawing lessons from as far away as China. The Center for International Forestry Research, C4, brought together scientists to exchange best FLR practices. China is famous for its conversion of cropland to forest program, CCFP. Involving 32 million households, it has already afforested 29 million hectares. China has been implementing a major restoration program since 1999, actually. Um, and uh, it, it involves a compensation program to local farmers to uh, convert cropland that's less productive over the course of that time, China has acquired a great deal of experience. As an outcome of this exchange, the scientists identified three key challenges for FLR in Ethiopia. Create economic incentives for communities to conserve land. Define tenure and land use rights for communally rehabilitated lands. Strengthen institutions to implement rigorous monitoring.